today we'll present to you um, KongSwap. So we term KongSwap as a liquidity operating system, and I'll explain what that means in just a second. And we strongly believe in a borderless blockchain economy, which we're building, and that means the following. Today, one of the core problems in crypto is that liquidity is trapped. You have 10 chains, 10 different um, liquidity pools, uh, capital is trapped, it's super inefficient, and then you have the second issue is bridging. Bridges are crap. They trap liquidity, they get hacked all the time, and they make DeFi super inefficient. The UX is terrible. Whenever you try to bridge something from one chain to the other, it takes you like forever. It costs a bunch, and it's just like, you know, you, it makes you want to quit. Composability is broken, so you cannot interact with smart contracts on other chains. Um, transfers are taking long, and at some point, gas costs become super expensive. So that makes all the trading, all the cross-chain interactions extremely inefficient. Now, what it leads to is that DeFi itself is not suffering from innovation, as we can see in the room today. There's a lot of innovation going on but it's suffering from the lack of basic integration. Now, our vision was basically to position KongSwap as the one protocol where you can interact with every chain, with every protocol, without any borders or limitations. And today, we've made our first step towards that goal. So we are now able to seamlessly swap tokens between Solana, and ICP within 10 seconds without any bridges, any intermediation, no mambo jumbo, just beautiful cryptography. And that's what KongSwap is. It's like the one protocol layer. <laughs> it's the one layer that enables this multi-chain interactions. Now, we have all this boilerplate code ready to roll out to other ecosystems as well. So first one will be Solana, then you'll have native Bitcoin transactions, native SUI transactions, all EVM chains. And soon, basically, the whole of crypto will just become one layer. Now, on top of that layer, we see a universal DeFi backend. What I mean by that is that anybody can plug into Kong and power everything. So our backend, or our protocol, is basically just a bunch of API calls, which are completely permissionless, anybody can connect to it and build their dApps on top of it. Right now we have, you know, uh, I think five to 10 teams that are building their services with our backend without even us knowing about it. We know about some of them who interact with us, but we don't know about everybody. On top of that, um, biggest problem with liquidity right now is that you have to have a pool for everything. Now, we saw this as a huge problem. So we created synthetic pools which we are extending in the future to AI routed pools. Now what that means is, so if you wanna go from token A to token B to token C, that you would need like two trades, two pools. With us, basically you need one pool that has the same route through the same token. So in an example, if you wanna go Solana to ICP, and then you wanna buy some Kong, you would need to have basically three pools, right? In in a, like a Uniswap environment. On Kong, you only need basically the Solana ICP pool and the ICP uh, Kong pool. And then the system automatically routes the trade, breaks the trade in half, costs you one trade. So that makes the liquidity usage super efficient because you only need to concentrate liquidity in one core pool. Um, and on top of that, it's basically our service offering. So today um, we have Cross-chain swaps, which are going live, so basically you're non-custodial, your assets, you trade on, on, um, with your tokens, prediction markets, which gives you the ability to earn on your knowledge. And um, yeah, there was a company before that said, you know, build by traders for traders. Um, I think we want to build by humans and for humans. So our focus on UX is really strong, so we want to make all our touch points across all uh, applications that we develop, very nice, seamless, and easy to use. And right now, I hope this works, um, we'll show you the demo which is about to go live in two weeks. So you can see now a swap between ICP and Solana. So what, what's happening in the background, we have a native pool that lives on two chains. You have a pool of ICP and Solana. This is there is no wrapper in between. 
no magic, it's native ICP and native Solana. Okay, I'll, I'll explain what will happen here. So if we can get the video up, basically you will see a swap between ICP and Solana, and you will see both transactions settled on both ledgers. And this happens within like 10 seconds. So either direction, ICP to Solana, Solana to ICP, 10 second swaps. No bridges, no magic in between, just native settlement. So you'll be able to connect with your phantom wallet, sell your Solana to buy ICP. You will connect with your OISI wallet, sell your ICP to buy the Trump token, whatever. No limitations. But yeah, also we have traction. So it's not just like magic internet that we're discussing here. Um, we've launched in October 24, um, fully on chain DEX running on ICP. So far, over 125 million in volume transacted. We have over 14,000 users that trade regularly. Um, we have listed 42, 422 tokens. I think we have about 168 liquidity pools, 700 or like close to 800 liquidity providers. Um, what astounded me was that we have really, really strong engagement with the platform. So users spend on average 11 minutes on KongSwap. Um, this is via Google Analytics, so I'm not making this up. Um, and we have an engagement rate of 70% of people who visit the site. So we are running as a DAO, so there is no one owner, etc. Everything we do is via SNS voting and updating. Um, and we have working products, we have swaps, uh, we have prediction markets, um, and we have a bunch of really cool stuff that we're about to roll out in terms of um, new products. On our roadmap, uh, basically it's just more chains, more integrations, uh, more TVL. Um, to sum all this up. Um, why is Kong inevitable? Um, the multi-chain cycle has started. So everybody's been trying to do it, but we've made it a reality. And now we can build on this reality. Um, we provide a unified ecosystem for the Bridges future, and we're doing what Bridges couldn't, and DEXs wouldn't even try. So now we, we basically we have this multi-chain future ready and good to go. Thank you. Yeah.